just flew into Boise, Idaho. I'm here with Visit Southern Idaho, and yeah, I'm about to spend four days here exploring Southern Idaho, seeing what there is to see, and like, you know, kind of really getting out of the bigger cities and discovering America. Like, I personally like to go to countries that are less first page of Google, and so while I'm in the US, why would I not go to states and destinations that are not first page of Google? And I consider Visit Southern Idaho that. I have done a lot of research. I think that there are exciting things to see, but you really just never know until you get there. So like I just said, I flew into Boise. Super easy, very new airport. Like I, so far it's giving very first world, which I appreciate. Just got my car. I think it's like 50 to $60 a day, Chevy Malibu. Like if it's not a big city, there's not a big competition for like the nice car. So very nice car. I have about a two hour drive to get to Twin Falls, which is like my little home base as I explore that area. So it's like Twin Falls, Buell, Buell, B-U-H-L, and that area for the next four days. So we're about to start a little road trip. It's about two hours. I am not really hungry, just ate before the flight. So I'm about to get down there, check into the Verbo that I'm staying in and then go out to eat and like get my first taste. But the weather is nice. I've flown from Seattle, so like sunny is good. Good, and I'm feeling optimistic. Let's get this party started. Okay, so I am now in Twin Falls, Idaho, 6.30 p.m. I got here at like five, but the place that I'm staying at, the Verbo, gorgeous, like no problem with the Verbo, but the listing itself didn't say that it was two stories up. So it's like two stairs and I just had a surgery, not a major surgery, but a surgery surgery like two weeks ago. And my doctor's like, don't go up too many stairs and don't carry 10, more than 10 pounds in my checked bag. And I never bring a checked bag. My checked bag is like 40 pounds. And so I'm like stuck. I was like, oh my God, I can't bring my own suitcase upstairs. I cannot believe this. So I had to call the tourism board and be like, hi, I either cannot stay here or I need someone to help me bring this suitcase upstairs. I am starving. I am tired. I'm ready to eat and then come back to the Verbo and relax and like plan out my content for the rest of the weekend. I'm excited. This has been a rough patch. R rough patch. It's not even that rough. Like it's really not rough at all. I'm completely fine. It was just embarrassing, um, but I'm completely safe and fine. And now I'm going to go eat, which I am excited about. So day half. This is just arrival day but it's going well, it's fine. This is my first time staying like in a Airbnb or a Verbo that's like suburban, like a suburban area for a press trip. Usually it's like a luxury hotel or it's like, I don't know, a boutique hotel or it's like the middle of nowhere, a landscape. But this is pretty cool. Like these are brand new homes. I'm, I think some of them are still being built. Like these were built in the last year and they're beautiful, like huge homes. I wanna know how much they cost. They are like McMansions in Twin Falls, Idaho. I'm gonna go on Zillow and tell you how much they cost, but like I could have one of these homes for sure. I mean, we'll see how the trip goes, like about living here, but like these homes are gorgeous and I feel like they're gonna be like $200,000 cause we're in Twin Falls, Idaho. And like, yes, it is two hours from the airport, which does suck. But if there was like even one bus that came out here, nice homes, I'm sure the property tax is low. I'm sure like this is like an, even a nice retreat. Like that's, I get why there's Verbos and Airbnbs because yeah. Morning, it is 7.30 a.m. I'm feeling so tired. I don't, actually, I know why it is. It's because I didn't get water yesterday because I drink the tap water in Washington, so. I usually drink tap water, but I didn't drink, like get tap water. And I got back from dinner and I hung out and did some work and it was 11 p.m. And I realized I had no water. So I'm so dehydrated right now. I'm so thirsty. So I ended up looking up Idaho tap water and it's not the best. Not the best is like the clearest answer I got. I even asked the Airbnb or like the Verbo host and that live here. And he's like, as far as I know, it's safe. I'm like, don't you live here? Like, wait, what? So I haven't drank any water and I'm very, 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 very dehydrated and thirsty. So I'm feeling so tired. I should be ready and dressed right now. I have to leave to go to this coffee shop for the first thing in 30 minutes. Like I'm supposed to be there in 30 minutes and I'm feeling tired. So I'm probably gonna have to shift my schedule a lot, a lot today. Oh, I have underestimated how cold it is, especially since it's not sunny anymore. It's 
freezing. And I'm a dummy and didn't do all the prep I wanted to do last night. So I don't think everything's charged even. Like, I think I need to be charging my phone, my GoPro, and my camera right now. I'm gonna charge my camera because I think that's literally dead. I don't know what happened last night. I came home so tired. The little light's on, so we're gonna hope that that works for today. Ah, in my life. Okay, so the first place we're going is, this is why you always have a robust itinerary, like why you fill it out completely. Pictures and everything, because like at this moment, you don't wanna not have the address. Four Roots, Twin Falls. That's where we're going for Becky. It's only a mile away, that is, all right. Let's back up and let's go. Let's rock. You know, it's windy. It's a little overcast, but I see it's pretty windy actually. Like that is significant. But I do see potential for sun. So hopefully the sun, like I can see the sun. It's just the clouds are like fighting. So I'm hoping that it clears up in time for. Luckily I have my wig on and I'm so, okay, I'll do a reveal at the end of this video <laughs> with the wig. But the, like, I love this wig. I was really nervous this morning because I was so late about getting ready in time. My makeup took five seconds because I'm a basic B, but the wig took like less than a minute. And I was like, oh my God. And my hair is like half blown out, half frizzy from the shower. It's a real, it's a mess right now. Like there's not like, I would have to completely get it wet and do curly, which would suck right now in the cold. And so I don't have to do that. Or I would have to um, flat iron it, which I didn't even bring a flat iron to do. So I would really be SOL. I probably would have to braid the front back or something. Like it would have been ugly to all my photos and I would have been so mad, but this wig saved the day. So I'm so glad I ordered it just like a day before my trip and it's really, 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 really come in handy. Suburban is the best way to describe to Twin Falls so far is extremely suburban. But there's like a, a gorge, like huge raging waters and like deep cliff sides and frozen waterfalls. And I'm like, wow, this is like very intense for the middle of this town. So that's the attraction, I guess. Okay, we're about a minute away. So let's get some breakfast. All right, got my breakfast. I got the lox toast. There's like half of it left, like. But it was really good and everything is organic and like locally sourced and everything, farm to table, so I really like that. And then I got my smoothie, strawberry banana with maple syrup sweetener, so that's good. Organic berries, organic sweetener, very good. Let's get the content for the Rio. Oh my God. And my lip gloss is gone. I didn't even think I packed it. Ah! Okay, now I have to drive 30 minutes to go this height. Let's go. I'm about to hike over there. I know it looks like Iceland, but it's not. So like the moss is not in danger. Don't worry. But wow look at like the colors i am in shock at how beautiful these colors are uh, uh, woo! Woo! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. this is not for the wee garden and these rocks are like limestone or like very coral <sighs> okay they're gonna a little slippery now Okay, I made it. <laughs> like, the flight was 150 bucks. This is Iceland, but better. Again, that was absolutely stunning. Like it really, I mean, it's not like the whole country or like the whole state. So I was gonna say it gives Iceland a run for its money, but like you can go anywhere in Iceland if you. But that one snapshot of Idaho gives Iceland a run for its money. Stunning, rich, saturated green moss and grass on black, like wet, dark, slate stone and ice and like frozen waterfall and everything. It was stunning. Like I'm I'm really shocked. We'll be, oh, uh, tumbleweeds. 
real tumbleweeds. I know no one gets excited about those, but like, I've never seen a real tumbleweed. Idaho has things to give. And as I was talking to the rep here for Business Southern Idaho, they get like over tourism. Like the parks and stuff are filled here. The waterfalls have like lines to take photos. Like there's so much tourism here that I didn't even know that there's over tourism, which I wouldn't have realized it either in the summer. And that's why they had me come out in the winter. They're like, yeah, we need photos and we need people to get excited about coming to Idaho in the winter because obviously they have a bunch of people come out this summer like step on everything like very much Iceland vibes step on everything flowers die graffiti like just too many people and then no one comes out in the winter and like the economy isn't like the tourism economy is equal so that's why they had to come out though the winter and now I'm completely fine with that because I do want to come back in the summer because it's gorgeous but I have my own like goals as a brand and as an influencer as pack flight and one of them this year is dispersion like go places in the off season go to that place in the shoulder season go to that neighboring town to that big tourism booming so maybe like london is the hot spot and i go to like cheshire which is a town nearby or instead of paris you go to montpellier like which is still touristy but like yeah, that's my goal this year. So I was so happy to come out here and hear her talk about that. Cause I'm like, I will make the content about dispersion and going off the beaten path for real, for real. Like I thought Southern Idaho in general was me being dispersed. Little did I know they are getting like hella tourism. So good for them. You can see it pay off in the infrastructure here. I was also kind of nervous about coming out here. She said like some of these places are really remote. I was really nervous. I'm like, you have to come out with me. I'm scared. I like the infrastructure is great. The roads are great here. There's sidewalks everywhere. Lots of very brand new houses in Twin Falls. I guess there's been a big boom of Californians moving to Idaho coming to retire like you know and that comes with problems if you say you're from california i guess the locals are like are you, like they will like it's not a good thing but it, the infrastructure here is fantastic much better than virginia like she said rural and i got scared like confederate flaggy but i think i'm traumatized because i was like girl if this is rural i've been to like boonie backwater scary like hickville red like scary scary okay so i'm like okay this this is rural just because there's farms Girl, farm is no no problem. I thought there was gonna be like pitchforks and like strange fruit. Okay, so no, I'm pleasant, pleasantly surprised by Southern Idaho thus far. It's beautiful. It's really, I mean, a lot of it's farm and I guess if you're from a farmy place, like you're not impressed at all, but it's very flat, lots of blue skies. Like to me, the colors here are stunning. I've seen a bunch of little cute animals, lots of ducks, lots of like marmot, lot, lots of eagles. Like, I think that's beautiful. I'm like really enjoying this trip and I feel very, very, very safe as a solo traveler. Like I said, thought I was gonna see strange fruit. So I, everyone's nice. I haven't had any like second glances or stares. I feel like very safe. I would definitely come back here. Like shout out to Southern Idaho. For dinner, which is at 6.30, I think it's 3 o'clock now, so I have to go really soon, but I was just taking photos of the freaking clipper stops, like, freaking clipper stops, so I have to retake all those photos and hope that they come out. I've got pruny toes. I'm steamed. You don't want to see my hair under this wig. That was a really cool experience. Like, that is my ideal experience. There's an alligator, there's really cool domes, all of it's really high quality, like extremely cheap, private option. All I need is like some mimosas, which you can bring yourself and maybe some like bath and body products, but that is a really, really cool experience. Like nine out of 10. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh my gosh, I am so tired. I just got back from my Airbnb from this very long but amazing day, I have to admit. I have about one hour before dinner reservations. Oh good, no one came to clean my room. Um, this is a Verbo, so I didn't expect anyone to, but I really didn't want anyone to because I left my laptop and my iPad and everything out, so. I'm actually good if they don't clean the room because. Woo! Oh my gosh, I am tired. Obviously dehydrated my freaking body my skin is like so tired i did get snacks finally because i was so thirsty last night i woke up feeling horrible so i got some water i'm literally pmsing so hard i have all these white clothes and i'm pmsing so hard so i have candy pms stuff mess stuff Two snacks so so anything so far the verbo is great the um activities amazing the photos i got the content so far amazing like tomorrow is my last full day i am going skiing and that's like the main thing and that's really it like i'm going skiing tomorrow and i think i'm doing some maybe like i mean two restaurants breakfast and lunch somewhere a seamless trip i mean almost seamless i had a lot of mishaps yesterday actually like i I went to bed yesterday feeling like defeated, a little defeated, you know, a little bit. Um, considering I eat at Outback and not anywhere like special, but. So I really enjoyed this trip. Really been surprised how much I've enjoyed this trip. I got gotten really great content. Yes. Okay, so I literally have exactly one hour before I have to be at dinner. So I'm gonna lay down. Maybe I'll shower now. So I'm happy when I get back. Maybe I will shower now. Kind of organize a little bit, kind of start repacking. So many emails, but then off to dinner. <laughs> just had what can only be described as a magnificent dinner at Elevation 468, I think. Oh God, it was so good. The quail blew my mind. Um, now I'm home for today, closing the blinds, gonna change, gonna shower. Don't think I have to wake up that early tomorrow, but I might. I have some work to do on my laptop and I'm watching some Netflix. I'm going to sleep. Man, there's so much mud on my shoes I didn't even see. Really good day, I'm really tired. I'm really gonna sleep good. <laughs> guys look at how much the landscape has changed the landscape and the weather i'm like maybe an hour outside of twin falls right now so little obviously and i'm just like really astounded i mean i think today's still a pretty light precipitation day but you have to look at this scenery like look at these mountains and how much it's snowing i mean I don't even think it feels like we've gone up much in elevation, even though obviously the path had to for it to start snowing, but it is super gorgeous. This, I'm sure all of this grass is lush green in the summer, which is gonna be stunning, but this yellow kind of sandy like desert is still beautiful. And it's, it, to me, this is giving very much Iceland. It's giving maybe like Republic of Georgia. Like it is really pretty. Yeah, and it's only an hour outside Twin Falls, which is crazy to me. You can see how much the wind was whipping today on the road, the snow strewn across by the wind. Like, it is really pretty, actually. Look at that, look at those rocks. And it's brown, like it's not like a black volcanic, it's really rich brown color. I hope you can see it in the video. It's really gorgeous. Like, I want my house to be these colors. White, like yellow, beige, and this dark, rich, like brownie brown. It's really pretty. And I'm the only one driving here. Like there's no tracks on the road. I am the only one out here right now. I think I'm gonna turn back actually and get a photo in front of that sign I saw. Got some beautiful side of the road content. 
love 10 out of 10 like this i'm glad i came out here even though i have no idea how i'm gonna make this call with meta <laughs> yeah i have this call in like 30 minutes i don't have any service right now but i'm gonna drive a little bit more just to get some more scenic views so you guys can see this majesty it is my last evening in idaho and i am going to a restaurant slash food hall called Second South Market. It is a food hall, so there's a lot of food options. I don't know what I'm gonna eat yet, but it is open mic night there apparently. So I'm hoping like there'll be some something interesting. Um, I haven't really met that many people my age here. It's a lot of high schoolers and a lot of older people. Um, I haven't met like 20s, mid 20s, so. We'll see how tonight goes, but either way, it should be really fun. All right, I am officially leaving Tweed Falls, leaving Southern Idaho and driving back north to get to Boise. I'm having a meetup today, hopefully. It's very last minute. I don't know if any of my followers are in Boise, but I put the call out, so hopefully some people show up. I am going to Boise, having that meetup, and then I fly out like two, three hours later. I have really, really enjoyed this trip to Southern Idaho. Like I mentioned, I think on the way down, I was nervous. I was like, how will it be traveling solo? How rural will it really be? Like I know there are farms. How safe is it? How pretty is it? Like I did, the only time I've been to Idaho is Northern Idaho in the dead of winter tons of snow to go skiing and of course that's beautiful but i didn't know how it would be southern idaho all you think of when i think of idaho at least is potatoes to be honest potatoes and farming and that there is that here i really didn't see much emphasis on potatoes honestly i feel like people are going to ask me that i didn't go to any like potato only restaurant restaurants weren't pushing their potato dishes to me if anything i discovered more idaho local food than i thought they love a trout here they love a good trout which kind of really reminds me of like Eastern Europe, very Republic of Georgia, very Croatia. They love a trout. They're very mountainy and like long landscapes, lakes and stuff like that, rivers. So that's gonna make sense. But I ate quail here, which was freaking delicious. Shout out to Elevation 468, I think is the name of the restaurant. It was freaking delicious. I had jalapeno honey glazed quail and mashed potatoes. The potatoes were local. The quail was local. Lots of trout. I had ice wine. Like I've really had a fantastic food experience here. And yeah, the activities that I got into, the natural springs were absolutely beautiful and very relaxing. The Glow Magic Spa was very cool. Like I've never been in a Hevelite salt room but that was really interesting. Yeah, I I mean, that the snow that I got into, it was really beautiful. Like, I have no complaints. The weather, it's super windy right now. You can probably hear it in the video, like the cars being pushed around by this wind. So the weather can be kind of volatile. Like I, could, I wasn't able to go skiing the way I wanted to because of the wind and the weather that day, it closed the entire ski resort, which sucks. So, you know, I guess to keep that in mind, like watch the weather while you're here. But other than that, like I had a really good time. I was surprised how safe it was, at least for my skin tone here. I didn't even have anyone have a second glance. I mean, no one was like, what are you doing here? This, uh, it was worse than Virginia for sure. Like, you've ever been to Virginia, even Pennsylvania? Like, I didn't know. Compared to that, this is like absolutely freaking nothing. And there's a really big Hispanic population here. I know I looked it up before I came here and it was like 13%, whereas the black and multiracial population is like less than 2%. But there was, I mean, the entire college of Southern Idaho says that they're dedicated to the Hispanic population. Like they're really Hispanic, Latino friendly. So like, I was shocked at that. I think that contributed to like at least my comfort here with my skin tone like brown is not rare here i don't know how it would have been being dark skin but literally i think twin falls was a lot 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 more modern and like very normal town than i thought it was in the more rural areas i'm not sure but i don't think it would have been a problem like only my assumption i'm sure in some areas anywhere in this country is a problem but like no one looked at me twice when i was doing influencer stuff no one looked at me twice eating alone in the restaurants no one looked at me twice asking questions eating at every single restaurant alone like literally no would even ask me like oh what are you doing here like, are you a traveler or are you a visitor everyone's like hey girl what's up what did i get you okay bye like it was an odd issue so that was a really pleasant surprise actually and i would i come back to idaho absolutely like i think it would be really fun to come back with friends and do a girl's trip 
All the things that I did here would be great for a girls trip, bonding time with friends. There were a few days that, yeah, like when the skiing didn't happen, I was like, so what am I gonna do here? I just walked around downtown and ate. There's obviously a lot of food and drinking opportunities, but like as far as things to do, it really is all about the outdoors, all about the hike, the trails, the like landscape, and then the, like the small local businesses, the float magics, the restaurant. Yeah, but no, I had a great time. Shocked. I'm shocked how much I enjoyed it. It was very chill. Do I think it's a great place to go like party gig or like, I don't know, anything like really extreme? Probably not, but like as a little getaway, nine out of 10. Great infrastructure, really safe, lots of stuff to do. The weather, I'm like, it's sunny, it's sunny now. Like the weather's agreeable now. Like I, I know, it's like shout out to Southern Idaho.